Hello friends, welcome back to another tiny tour in Zilker Nature Preserve. The next time you're out here at the preserve, take notice of what kind of plants you see growing around. Many of the plant species you'll find are native plants. That means they are perfectly adapted to growing and thriving in a certain condition and climate. It also often means that the plants that grow here are well adapted for supporting native wildlife. Central Texas isn't always an easy place to live. Our hot, dry climate require plants to be pretty tough if they're going to survive here. So let's go meet some of those tough Texas natives that you might find out in the preserve. Texas is famous for its spring blue bonnets and Indian paintbrushes. But other lesser well-known spring wildflowers, like the spiky but sweet-smelling agarita, and the tall stalks of monarda, aka horsemint or bee balm, are also important nectar sources in the springtime. And of course, what bee wouldn't want to dive bomb into the polleny goodness of a prickly pear bloom? Later in the summer, you can find pollinator plants like Turk's cap, mist flower, and bush sage. But the real treasure in Central Texas is our native species of milkweed, which are host plants for monarch caterpillars, but nectar plants for a variety of insects. The flowers on our native Texas lantana start out yellow, but once they've been pollinated, they stop producing the attractive scent and they turn orange. This tells pollinators which are the best flowers to look for. Speaking of scent, late summer in the preserve smells like thick honey. It's the smell of native Texas kidney wood and evergreen sumac. Both are shrubby trees that produce a delicious odor to attract bees and butterflies. Native grasses are some of the preserve's unsung superstars. Little blue stem and inland sea oats prevent erosion with their deep roots. Sea oats also are a great source of food for birds and small mammals. Side oats grandma is the state grass of Texas and shows off its beautiful tiny flowers in the late summer. American Beauty Berry is a star shrub its delicate flowers attract bees and butterflies early in the spring, and its ripened purple berries in the late summer are a favorite food of mockingbirds, the Texas state bird. Pigeonberry is another slightly less popular food source, though it is unique because it shows off its flowers and its fruit at the same time. There are many native tree species in the preserve, but one in particular gets a pretty bad rap. Ash juniper, more commonly known as cedar, is a native tree that plays a major role in both your springtime allergies, but also in the conservation of a critically endangered songbird. The golden cheek warbler only nests in central Texas, and its nests are made primarily of long strips of bark from mature ash juniper trees. In addition to warblers, ash junipers are the host plants for juniper hair streak butterflies and their caterpillars, both of which are almost invisible on the trees due to their impeccable camouflage. Another tree with remarkable bark is the Texas persimmon. Its trunks are smooth with curly cues of peeling bark, and in the fall its ripe black fruits are a favorite for everyone from raccoons to foxes. Finally, one of my favorite native plants can be found along the damp walls in the dry creek bed. Maidenhair ferns and other fern species grow right out of the rocks and provide a lovely bit of green amongst the limestone and lichens.
Well, hopefully you've gained an appreciation for and a better understanding of some of those hardworking Texas natives that grow out in the preserve. I invite you to come out, take a hike, and notice those plants that are growing around you. And who knows, maybe you'll be inspired to plant some in your own yard. I'll see you next time.